Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash, which in the Hebrew language, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, Ba'ashem means in the name, Yahweh Shai is the true name of whom the world ignorantly and stubbornly calls Jesus, and Rekakudash means Holy Spirit. Double honor to the apostles and elders that great millstone that rule well through the scriptures, peace of hope for elect. Alright, this will be a response to this video called uh, Vocab Alone in Jesus, the word rejected at the gates. Mauled by the lions of Yahweh from uh, the group One Body Yahweh Shai. And uh, it's a particular uh, part of the scriptures that was uh, broken down wrong, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So I'm going to play it right here. Bring out, prepare slaughter for his children. Hey, we're going to kill a lot That's of you, right. man, for the killing of our. Why don't you That's start right, right now? Why do you know the way? verse 1? Verse 1. Because it's not time, okay? We gather the nation together. What is the this? For the Lord. We'll have mercy on Jacob. So why is he not saying he's going to have mercy on Edom? What are some of the ways you're huh? going to kill Edomites in the kingdom? Some of the ways? Yeah, what are some of the ways you're going to kill Edomites? We're going to torture y'all, man. That's, That's right. right. The neck, huh? What kind of torture are you going to do? We're going to do y'all the same way y'all did us. That's right. That's right. We're are not going to rape your gonna, women gonna, because gonna, we don't lay down okay. with fleas and That's right. That's right. Are you going to kill children? White children? Yes, we are. Yeah, That's, That's right. right. You stomp their head and smash their That's head. Right. That's right. That's right. Don't do it, okay? Yeah, and see, uh, Vocab Malone doing that is because he's going to, you know, use that to, uh, like the scripture says, he make a man an offender for a word. So, you know, you're uh, going to use this to play on the people's emotions to demonize us, what, whatever. You know, that's why he's doing that. He kind of like, he kind of like bait him, baited him in with that. You know, now he got, now he got so-called material to, you know, further uh, slander the Israelites and, uh, like the Elder Yashwama said, to uh, uh, equate us with terrorists. But, nevertheless, that's what the scriptures say, you know. If that, if they read that from the scriptures, if, if they would have read that in Psalm, you know, then it would have been like, okay, this is what the book, now, now explain this, all right? Because it is, it is in the scriptures. But like the scripture says, Hebrews 4 and 12, the word of the Lord is quick and powerful, all right? So if they would have read that in the scriptures and let them, uh, you know, make sense of it, so then what? Because these ain't our words we speaking. This this is what the Lord said. Uh, uh, Psalm 137 and 7, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. So you tortured us, you're going to get tortured. All right, you used uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans as guinea pigs in your science projects, different things you did to study diseases. All right, so he right. What they've done going to be done to them. They torture people, they're going to be tortured. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the songs. The little ones is a child. All right, so that's what the scripture have said. All right. But, uh, we get to the point well, of the video. Read that right quick. I know you're here to get you some film. See, go back this and is, tell this the is world. Just, this read is that for the Lord. He can have mercy on Jacob. The line. He's going to have mercy on Jacob. Read. And we yet choose Israel. So, okay, where is you and, and all these Edomites in there? Read. And set God. them in their own land. He's going to set us right home. Right. set them in their own land. So now, whether easily or with difficulty. Who is in the land of Israel? Now see, that's not uh, the strangers in that particular scripture is not uh, talking about um, uh, heathens. All right, that strangers in that scripture is talking about Israelites. All right, <clears throat> this is uh, it's the first scripture I get is uh, this like no matter if I'll get Isaiah fourteen and one. It says for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave 
to the house of Jacob. Now, if you cleave to something, you attach, you join yourself to it, all right? Because uh, when based off the scatterings and the, uh, the different periods of time, our people uh, fell away from their heritage and lost their nationality. They didn't cleave to the house of Jacob. They didn't cleave to the Lord. They didn't cleave to the, the statutes, laws, and commandments, all right? But it's going to come a time when all the children of Jacob will. So this is uh, Psalm 147 and 2. The Lord doeth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. The outcasts, all right? This is uh, Isaiah 11 and 12. It says, And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth dispersed. Not pataza, to shatter, break, dash, to shatter, to pulverize, to scatter, disperse. All right. Let me see. Uh, this is uh, Ephesians 2 and 11. It says, Wherefore remember that ye be in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands. So if you as Gentiles in time past, you can't stop being the only person that can stop being a Gentile is what a Israelite. Because if you, were, how do an Israelite become a Gentile? Well, they live and behave like heathens. All right. The scripture says, uh, "Let me see." It's a scripture, and uh, let me see, see if I can find that. Uh, it's the Second Kings seventeen and fifteen. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers and his testimonies, which he testified against them. And they followed vanity, and they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them concerning whom Yahweh had charged them that they should not do like them. Right. And they left all the commandments of the Lord their God and made them molten images, even two calves and made a grove and worshiped all the hosts of heaven and served Baal. And that's the point. They became vain. Now, the, the heathens, the Gentiles are vain. All right? So our people became vain. So what? They became Gentiles in the, in the flesh, living after, living after the rudiments of the world. So it says, you were Gentiles in times past. Meaning what? That they stopped being Gentiles when they served the Lord. The, the, the heathens are, 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 are nothing and has always been reputed as nothing. The Lord said, you only have I known, therefore I will punish you. Matter of fact, let me get uh, the scripture of, uh, what's that, Psalm 148. Okay. Let me see, that 148. Huh. Look at 147. Huh. This is Psalm 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Right. So the Lord ain't dealing with no other nation. So it only an Israelite can, can stop becoming a Gentile. Why? That's why I said in times past. Because they stopped. They they stopped living vain. But that that's what they're talking about that's gonna cleave unto them. Okay? Let me see. Let me go back to it. It says, uh, verse 12, that at that time you were without Christ, it, sh it should be Mashiach, that at that time you were without Mashiach, what? Being aliens, what? From the commonwealth, okay? Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. All right, commonwealth, what? The administration of civil affairs, the state of commonwealth, citizenship, the rights of a citizen, Right? And strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope and without the most high in the world. Right? So let me get a first Kings eight and forty one. It says the moreover concerning a stranger that is not of thy people, Israel. But cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake, for they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand and of thy stretched out arm when he shall come and pray toward this house. Hear thou in heaven 
thy dwelling place, and do according to all that the stranger calleth to thee for, that all people of the earth may know thy name to fear thee, as do thy people Israel, and that they may know that this house which I have built is called by thy name. So King Solomon was praying that the Lord hear the prayer of the, the foreign Israelites, because it says concerning the stranger that is not of thy people. That's not talking about a heathen, because the Lord don't deal with the heathen, all right? And, and it's too it's too many scriptures. The Lord said, uh, 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 Romans nine and four, who are Israelites, who to whom pertaineth the adoption? So the adoption don't pertain to the heathen. The scripture says, to whom pertaineth the adoption? That's the Israelites and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God. Uh, uh, according to the flesh, Christ came. So them people, it's about the Israelites. But he praying for a, a stranger, you know, an Israelite that 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 uh. That's not a um. That's not in the land. That's dispersed. That's outcast. That became a a, a a a a gentile, you know, in the flesh, living after the gentiles. But why did it say becometh out of a far country? Because it says for thy name's sake. Uh, Malachi one and fourteen said the Lord is a great king and his name is dreadful among the heathen. When the when the name of the Lord is spoken in the heathen's ears. They think of what all the the, the 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 terribleness that the Lord has has done uh, 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 amongst them. All right, the God of Israel. All right, it says, for they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand, of thy stretched arm, when he shall come and pray toward this house. So the scripture says, uh, the heathens can't enter to the congregation of the Lord. All right, Hebrews twelve and sixteen. Esau, Edom, he was rejected. All right. He rejected, uh, 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 the Lord said, uh, when you read Ezra, it said, he put by Esau. Then the scripture speaks about Moab and Ammon. They rejected for the covenants. So, like, the Lord ain't dealing with nobody. So how are he going to let them come and pray when, when the heathen ain't supposed to enter the congregation of the Lord? All right? Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see something. I can read this. Uh, uh, Revelation 2 and 2 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life. Who got that right? Israelites. And may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters. And whosoever loveth and maketh the lie. So only the Israelites, the, the righteous Israelites is going to enter into the gates of the city. But this is actually another scripture uh, that I wanted. All right, court. Let me see. All right, let me see. This is Revelation eleven and one. And there was a and, and there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar, and them that worship therein. But the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city they shall tread underfoot forty and two months. So the Gentiles can't enter in, uh, uh, into the altar and come worship. Okay? So uh that scripture that we're reading right here in uh, Kings 8, 1 Kings 8, 41 on down, that's talking about what? The outcast, the dispersed. All right? Now, because uh, he praying to the people. Like, when you read that chapter 8, he he's praying to the Lord different scenarios that might that might, that might happen as a result of our people uh, 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 disobeying the Lord. Like, different uh, not following the commandments and you seeing uh, pestilence and rain and you allow us to go into captivity. He asking the Lord to have mercy on different things that may happen, you know. <laughs> but this is, uh, let me jump to, uh, back in Ephesians 2 and 11. 
It says, Wherefore remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh who are called them circumcision, by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time you were without Mashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth, that's why I say, who are not of thy people, what? To be shut out from one's fellowship and int intimacy, a strange way to be non-participant, all right? From what? the com They want to participate in what? In the administration of civil affairs, all right? State or commonwealth citizenship, not a, not a citizen, all right? Uh, uh, didn't have a uh, proof that they was Israelites, all right? So it says, uh, and strangers from the covenants, because who's the covenants for? It's for the Israelites, all right? I've quoted the Romans 9 and 4, but got to get it. It says, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants pertaineth mean belong to and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Mashiach came. So as concerning the flesh, ain't no spiritual Israelites. Now an Israelite, a Jew is one that is one inwardly. So if you're not serving the Lord, you, you might as well be a heathen. Okay. That's why we read the Kings. It said if they uh, uh, become vain, all right, the scripture speaks about they became vain in their imaginations and served the creature more than the creator, all right? That's what Gentiles do, okay? It says, uh, not, uh, it says, whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Mashiach came, who is over all the most high, blessed forever, amen. So it says uh, that that at that time, Ephesians 2 and 12, that at that time you were without Mashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise. Strangers from the covenants of promise. But they, uh, the Lord is going he to uh, close that gap. That's why they're going to cleave to the house of Israel. They're going to be joined, because that word cleave basically means joined, attached, associated with. It ain't going to be no more division. It ain't going to be no more outcast, no more dispersed. All right, having no hope and without the most high in the world. Verse 13, but now when Mashiach Yehoshai, ye who sometimes were far off, far a, a great way, hence, aliens from the commonwealth, distant, it says, but now when uh, Mashiach Yehoshai, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Mashiach. For he is our peace who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained the ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto the most high and one body by the cross, having slain the enemy, the enmity thereby. And came and preached peace to you which were far off, and to them that were not. For through him we both have access by spirit. Unto the Father. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the Most High. Mm. And, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Mashiach himself being a chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth into an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built together for an habitation of the Most High through the Spirit. So with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. Call Allah, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Kakodash, Shalom.